Hey everyone, welcome to Men's Essentials. So my local Walmart had this Dr. Squatch Cool Fresh Aloe deodorant on the shelf. I was really intrigued because I hadn't seen this announced at all, like on their social media or anything. I thought it was a brand new product uh, that was separate from their uh, cylindrical deodorants that they already make. But it turns out it's basically the same thing, but I was still intrigued by it because I've actually never tried any of their Cool Fresh Aloe products like the soaps or the lotion. Uh, so I figured this could be a good time to test this out. But then I had also just recently bought this sea salt deodorant that's also aluminum free from Everyman Jack. So I figured this could be a good time to compare both of these and see which one I like best. So I'm going to give you guys all the details. So I've mentioned this before, but if you're new to my channel, I want to mention the things that I look at uh, with most of my products is the scent, obviously, and how each product performs. So for these deodorants specifically, I was looking at how long they lasted and if they leave any residue or marks on your shirts. So I'm going to start off with talking about the Everyman Jack Sea Salt Deodorant. The scent on this deodorant is very good. I really, really like it. I was surprised. I thought that I wasn't going to enjoy uh, the scent on this deodorant. And the main reason for that is just because of their sandalwood uh, deodorant that I tested out a few years ago. I have another video out there too on my channel page, guys, where I actually already reviewed their Everyman Jack sandalwood deodorant and Dr. Squatch's Birchwood Breeze. Anyway, I was really disappointed with their sandalwood scented deodorant. I didn't like that scent at all. So when I smelled the sea salt deodorant, I was surprised. It smells really good. On the back of the label here, they mentioned that it smells like sea minerals and citrus with a complex fresh finish. So I think that the sea mineral scent, that might sound kind of weird, but I think that that scent is what stands out the most. You do get some scent notes of citrus in there, but this is honestly more of a fresh, crisp, aquatic scent sea salt scent. It's honestly extremely pleasant and nice. I could see myself wearing a scent like this throughout the spring and summer. So the scent alone in this deodorant, I would give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. It's that good. I really, really like this scent. And it turns out that they also have a body wash with this sea salt scent. So I'm definitely going to be testing that out. And one other thing that I want to mention about the scent is that it reminds me of Method Men's Sea and Surf Body Wash. So what I'm going to do is test out the Everyman Jack Sea Salt Body Wash, compare it to Method Men's Sea and Surf Body Wash and make a video. So stay tuned for that video in the future. I also want to highlight some of the ingredients that they mentioned on the label here. They said they use lichen extract to help fight odor causing bacteria and cotton extract to help absorb moisture. They use a lot of different natural oils too. It looks like rosemary leaf oil, bergamot fruit oil, chamomile flower extract, grapefruit seed extract, calendula flower extract, just a whole bunch of other natural ingredients. Oh, and this one has coconut oil in it too. So it does have a lot of good, nice, natural ingredients, but that brings me to the performance. And the unfortunate reality is that the performance on this Everyman Jack deodorant is not very good. For me personally, it only lasted about two to three hours and then I could already smell body odor creeping in. Like I could smell it on myself. That was really bad. And the reason why I'm disappointed with it is because when I tested out their sandalwood deodorant about three years ago, the performance was the same. I don't know if Everyman Jack has gotten feedback from customers. Uh, maybe I'll write them an email. Maybe, maybe they'll watch this video but this stuff just does not last long. And I mean, I guess you should be used to that with any natural deodorant, any aluminum free deodorant. Out of all of the natural deodorants that I've tested out, this is one that lasts the least amount of time. All of the Dr. Squatch deodorants that I've tested out, those are natural and aluminum free. Those last like six to eight hours for me. Some, you know, it just depends on if I'm out in hot weather conditions or in the office, but the performance on this Everyman Jack deodorant is just not good. Even though it smells amazing, I don't see myself using this one very often. All of the Everyman Jack deodorants are easy to apply. They glide easily and they go on a clear. So none of your undershirts or regular shirts are going to have stains on them. At least I didn't have any stains after I used it. 
You also don't feel it very much. Like you can't actually tell that you're wearing the deodorant once you apply it. It has a very light feeling in your armpits, which is something that I really liked. Overall, I would give this Everyman Jack deodorant a score of two out of five stars. It smells amazing, but I do wish it lasted longer. Please leave comments, guys. Let me know what you think. If you disagree with me on anything I say, this is just my personal opinion. And if you're a new viewer to my channel, I make videos about men's essential products and accessories. So grooming products like these deodorants, watches, sunglasses, other grooming products like Duke Cannon and other things from Dr. Squatch, other soaps. So please like and subscribe if you're interested in that. Let's talk about the Dr. Squatch deodorant. So like I mentioned in the intro, I was intrigued by this new packaging on this deodorant from uh, Dr. Squatch, but it actually hasn't changed. This is the exact same deodorant that they have in different packaging, like I mentioned in the cylindrical packaging. And this one's also not available on Dr. Squatch's website. I found it at my local Walmart. And the biggest change that I see on the packaging is that they actually mentioned that this has extra smooth glide, which I think is good because if you have used any of their other deodorants with the cylindrical shape, those can be kind of rough when you put them on. They tend to pull my armpit hair when I apply it. I don't know if that's just me. I know that's a funny thing to say, but I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that's experience that I hope. So I will say this, I did feel like this did have an extra smooth glide compared to the other deodorants. Like I already said, I had not tried Cool Fresh Aloe from Dr. Squatch ever. I had never tried this scent before and I am not the biggest fan of the Cool Fresh Aloe. It does smell nice, uh, but it's a bit too generic for me. I think I, I'm just accustomed to more unique scents from Dr. Squatch. Uh, I feel like you could probably grab many other basic regular deodorants and they would smell similar to this one. And the aloe scent, that fresh green aloe scent was a little bit too aggressive for me too. I think they could have cut back on that. So the scent on this one gets a 2.5 out of 5 for me. And performance wise, this one lasts just as long as their other deodorants. Um, now some of the ingredients that I want to highlight from Dr. Squatch, arrowroot, charcoal, and postbiotics. Arrowroot is the ingredient that they use for moisture protection, charcoal for odor protection, and postbiotics to restore balance. So performance wise, I'm very happy with this Dr. Squatch Cool Fresh Aloe deodorant. It works really well, it's easy to apply. Personally, I like the new packaging a lot more than the cylindrical uh, deodorants. And the main reason I like this one more is because the actual product itself won't smear all over the packaging. With their, with their cylindrical packaging, uh, when you apply the deodorant, it gets on my fingers and on the packaging a lot more. I don't know if you've noticed that too, but that's my experience. So let me know if you guys have that happen to you too. One of the main complaints that I've seen about these Dr. Squatch deodorants is that they do stain your undershirts. Now, some people don't care about that. I'm one of those people. I mean, who's gonna look at your undershirt when you're out in public? Nobody really cares. But if you do care about your undershirts getting stains on them, then maybe this Dr. Squatch deodorant is not the option for you. The overall score I would give this Cool for Shallow deodorant would be a three out of five stars. And that's just because I don't like the scent. It works really well. It lasts a good amount of time for, you know, an aluminum free deodorant. So again, guys, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. But overall right now, my favorite deodorant is Dr. Squatch's Pine Tar deodorant. That stuff is awesome. If you have any other natural deodorants in mind that you think I should test out, let me know in the comments. Or not just natural deodorants, but any other antiperspirants, just any other deodorant you think would be good to test out, let me know. Thanks for watching again though. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next time.